Tampa. What's good, Tampa? Welcome to another video. We're in the mood for burgers today, so we're gonna try hitting up Ford's Garage. Now, here's the, kind of the embarrassing part. I thought this was gonna be my first time going to Ford's Garage, but then looking at the reviews, I can see two years ago I left a review. And I say I love this place. It's a cool atmosphere, great truffle fries, and the burgers are awesome. Never had a bad experience. Peace and love. That's my first review I wrote two years ago. So let's go back because <laughs> I don't even remember writing that review. Let's look at the five-star reviews. We've got Kevin here. He says, I had a great experience here. My server was friendly um, and kept my drink full. The food was a 10 out of 10, and I had a burger and onion rings. I would recommend. You know the next thing though, we gotta check out the one star reviews. This is from Jared. Jared says, seated and ignored, so we left. Manager did try to make amends, but too late for me. Yikes, dude, Jared ain't having that stuff. Jared is, does not have time to be sitting around. Start saying, said, not impressed. The food is so bland, it needs seasoning and better battered fish. So greasy and flavorless. I got an upset stomach after eating there. They have several TVs, and they're only playing Ultimate Fighting and sports. Me and my family will never return. All right, I have two things about that review. Okay, so Kristen has some feedback on Sarsan's review. Well, one, why are you amazed at the fish and chips at a Ford's Garage burger place? And two, what would he like them to play on the TV? Yeah, I guess he them to play other things besides sports is what it sounds like. Like I just told you, I already left like a five review, <laughs> a five star review. All right, well, let's go try it again. That was two years ago. Let's see if they've kept it up. All right. I think they had a pretty cool vibe atmosphere in here. We got fried pickles to start. Try out these fried pickles. See. I like when well, the ranch sauce is good. I like it. Get up, get down, around, around this room. So listen when I got the Model A burger. So let's see how the Model A burger is. You know I'm a bit of a burger connoisseur. So we'll see. Alright, here we go. Focus. That looks pretty good. What do we think? Oh! Oh my god. Alright. Really juicy. And the egg. It's soaking wet. Got egg, bacon, lettuce, meat, and cheese, American cheese. I'd I think I'd recommend it. Halfway through my burger, the bun got too soggy to eat it anymore, so that was that. The potato wedge fries, though. So. Fries are okay. Burger was okay. Should we finish the review in the car? What's that guy doing talking on the camera over there? I'm not digging this place. <coughs> Period. back in the car <laughs> just left Ford's garage I'm kind of shocked that I left a five-star review two years ago because I definitely did not have a five-star experience this time out of a five-star I would get I would give it this time I give the whole damn thing like a 3-1 oh, yeah 3-1 I my burger was like the first few bites were like you know you're like okay I'm hungry it's pretty good, but then, you know, it just started falling apart on me. And there is a way to do a fried egg on a burger without having to become completely destroyed, which is what happened to mine. Uh, potato wedges were okay. They weren't as great as everybody was saying. Burger menu is only like six or seven burgers or something, so I mean, you can, of course, still build your own, but anyway, lots of other better burgers around here. I've done a lot of different videos on better burgers around Tampa already, so 
Goodbye, Forest Garage, forever. It was nice knowing you, kind of. And that's that. Peace and love, see ya.